Oh, wow. He sounds really sad. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but somehow it's been over two months since our last My Singing Monsters video. Yeah, I'm really sorry for that. We've got the new festival of Yael. We've got the new epic Bellowfish. We have the actual incredible looking rare monculus to get. There was some kind of expansions to be had in the magical islands, but I think I've kind of missed my chance on that. So that's just fantastic. But most importantly, the Ephra Workshop has released Wave 2. Yeah, we got some weird looking monsters here to get. Like, what in the heck is that? So there's actually a ton to do here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all in this video. I also think there's an adult version to be had on Celestial Island of one of the Celestials. So, yeah, if you want to see more of my single monsters and whatever else we haven't done in this video to be done in the next one, yeah, let's see over 2,000 likes. Yeah, we have adult Atmos. What? This is why you don't leave my singing monsters for over two months. You just don't. So the most important thing in this video that I want to get done is the whole wave two thing on the ethereal workshop island. But before we do that, I really want to get the rare monculus, man. We just have to, and I may try to attempt to get the epic bellowfish as well. So again, even when I've been away all this time, thank you very much for lighting up my torches and still supporting me when I've gone missing in action for so long. MIA, man. Marcy, where did he go? I feel so lost. I really do. So I think the combination is, yep, Nell Blob here. And we also need one of the one elemental ethos here. Being, yet yeah, we need our dude here. And I think our best one is the level 13. So we're going to try that. See what we get. Seven hours. I don't think that's going to be a rare. I mean, I've been away for two months. But I still know, yep, yeah, that is not a rare. So, yeah, I still remember. This is going to take some time. One day seven? That might be the nebul nebulob, though. But I don't know. No, I don't think it is. That could be the Remunculus. That's only like my third, fourth attempt here. Oh, it's the Nep. Okay. 23 hours. That's weird. Maybe that is the rare then. It is a seasonal? So it may have different times. Ooh, it is. Oh, hey. I even like the egg. That's nice. Bala bing, bala boom. I love the design. That is incredible. Oh, they did him good as a rare. I like that. Wow. So I'm guessing you can get the rare on Wobbling Island, maybe? See, I don't know everything I've missed here. Let me know in the comment section down below. I pointed out a lot, but I don't think I pointed out everything. So let me know and let me know what we can do in future My Single Monster videos. And hopefully in the near future, not in two months or so future, like this one here. That's great. I like that a lot. Ooh, we could try, like I said, get the epic bellowfish, but that may take some time. The epics on uh, Ethereal Island are insane to get. Look at that. I'm in awe. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm actually going to hold off on getting the epic bellowfish for now because I know that's going to drain all my diamonds. And we also can get rare monculus on seasonal shanty. So let's try that, I guess. So the combination here is Yule and hula let's see one day two i don't know the times here okay we just get a regular yule here attempt number two lucky two okay that's different 15 hours two oh it's a regular monculus okay 23 hours oh i stopped counting man it got a little longer then I liked. It was around the 12th attempt, maybe. I don't know, but there we go. Ooh, having the rare version on Seasonal Shanty 2. Oh, I feel complete. Hey, it looks incredible. And he's going in the middle, of course. Wait, they also did an epic Clavaveria? How have I missed this much? <laughs> okay, so again, let's do more of the meat of this video here. I really want to tackle wave two here on Ethereal Workshop. Oh, I kind no. of forgot how this works, though. What do I do? Do I use this thing? I do something with the attunement. 
Yeah, we need to get the different elements here, I think. I honestly can't remember. I'll just get some stuff here. I guess. Okay, so I got more of the meebs here. I just upgraded our hotel, our beds, and I also just upgraded the synthesizer, which is now the refined synthesizer. I'm guessing it's kind of like the incubator and it'll be less waiting time. So I've got some of the meebs here. I'm just going to go for it. I think to get one of them, we need to use the shadow meeb here. We also need to use, I think that's the... I don't remember that element. That's not the plasma. This is the plasma one. So we need this one. And then we need the cog. Yeah, I think when it's like that, when it's all heated up and it's going all haywire, that kind of basically means that we're able to get something, I think. Again, I can't remember. Let's try it here. It's 10 hours. I don't know what that means anymore. What do we get? Oh, it was too unstable. Oh, that's what it means as well. When it's all like weird and going haywire, it may or may not work. And of course, in this case, it didn't work. So we can just try that again. That doesn't mean uh, that combination that we tried with the Meebs was bad. It just means that, well, it failed that attempt. Yeah, it just means that this attempt is very unstable and it may not work. But it could also work, which we're going to keep trying here. Yeah, we got another uh, bad, unstable attempt here, but I'm not backing down. I know that this combination will likely give us something here. We're going to do it again. The cogs, it doesn't really need to be in a certain order, I think. It doesn't matter. Let's try that again here. Ooh, one day five. That's different. That may mean something. Oh, I think we got the new thing I wanted. Bada bing, bada boom. I think that's it. Oh, nightmare. That is more like nightmare, to be honest. Look at that. That is just nightmare fuel. It really is. What? Let's place that down, though. Hey. I want to read you up. What are you about? You look so depressed. I don't blame you. He sounds really sad. I feel so bad for him. I'm sorry for bringing you into this world. Hello, hello, hello! Behind the laughter and mirth of the majority of the workshop's inhabitants lurks the nightmare, a mishmash of multiple ideas. The leading theory is that it's secretly powered by quirky animatronics! It's a Five Nights at Freddy's character! To avoid going purple in the face, and so that its servos don't lock up, it literally is Freddy. We need to call this Freddy. The monster most routinely express... The monster must routinely express itself via a string of groans and moans. It's important for the nightmare to socialize, even though its melancholic ex disposition often dampens the party atmosphere. The ethereal asserts that it's going to stop killing the mood with the others and isolate itself. But it always comes back! That is Freddy! There's no way that is not a reference to FNAF. Like, what the heck? Okay, I think I'm going to go for this guy next. He actually looks kind of cool. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. So we need the plasma, the crystal, and the poison something element. I don't know what that is. So we're going to go to the attunement here, speed it all up, get the elements we want and the elements we need. So I'm just going to kind of double up and stuff as much as I can here so we can keep doing re-attempts and all that jibber-jabber. All right, let's try it here. So it was the plasma thing, the crystal, and the poison one. Ah, so this one isn't as unstable, but still it could fail. It's still quite high, 10 hours, so that probably failed, I guess. Yep, of course it did. Oh, we can retry, I keep forgetting about that. Yep, we're gonna retry that one. Another fell here. It was nowhere near as unstable as that nightmare of Five Nights at Freddy's monster we got a minute ago. But still, apparently, it's just unstable enough for us to keep failing here. But third time's the charm. Oh, third time is possibly that charm. Hey, oh, I love the egg. That's a nice egg. I almost don't want to open it. I almost don't, but we got to. Bada bing, bada boom. Cracking that glass open. Look at that. That is a monster. <laughs> that is a complete monstrosity, but again, I kind of like it, man. I do. He's not as depressed, I hope, as the other one. I mean, he doesn't look as depressed. Let's hope he makes some more upbeat sounds here. I feel so bad for the Freddy one. 
That Five Nights at Freddy's one, I just wish I never created it. I'm actually not lying, I feel so bad. Why did they create that thing? That's the most depressed monster in the game by far. There's some depressing monsters, but that one, it takes it. It really does. I feel so guilty for just creating that thing. I want to put out its misery. It doesn't look like it wants to be alive. But anyway, we've got this new one here. Let's check him out. Ooh. I just like the way he's moving, you know? He looks so happy. That's such a contrast to what we just created. Come on, man. Let's see what you do. I'm guessing he, like, jiggles around his liquid and stuff, maybe? Kind of lifts up his legs? We're going to find out. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, he bangs, like, the glass together, the tubes and whatnot. Hey, I liked how he moved his eye around and stuff. Okay, that was kind of cool. Okay, let's find out a little more about this one here. It's challenging to describe the flask as a living thing by the conventional definition of the term. The ethereal's body consists of little more than an assortment of beakers and chalices which float and move together impossibly, defying all known scientific laws. If that wasn't already enough, the monster purposefully collides these body parts together. Isn't it fearful of breaking the glass? By a fluke of nature, the flask's green lifeblood that sloshes and splashes about inside its body parts actually fortifies them and makes them completely shatter resistant. Wow. Okay, so we got our last one here and it's a quad? Is that the first quad here? All right, so just making a few of these here. I have a feeling this one is going to take some time. What is it gonna say on the scale? It's gonna be insane, the scale's going to break. If some of the three elementals were really unstable, the chart is just going to explode with this one. I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna do. I'll be a little unsatisfied if it's still just the regular unstable red thing. I wanna see it really heat up to the point where yeah, it's nearly going to explode. I wanna see that. Let's just double check our meeps here. I might as well get three of the gas one here and then uh, on the humbug one I might as well get three as well and then we're gonna go along and attempt to get that four elemental so yeah we just need the humbug one there yep that's enough to play with definitely we'll get more if we need more but for now that's enough to play with so we just need to use well for one we need the four elemental and we need a combination of whatever this means I'll press that and see. What? We need to use a pre-existing monster? Will they be sacrificed? So if it doesn't work, does that mean I just waste one of these monsters and I have to get them again? That's not fair. Why can't I use these a lot though? What's that about? Why are they unusable? I don't know. Should I use Espresso Depresso? That would probably make him even more... Uh, depressed. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's just use this guy here. And then we press this. No meebs available. Wait, what? So I need to get more meebs? This is definitely different. So let's try that again. Yeah, we're all good now, I think. Right, let's try that. 17 hopefully big ones. What did I get? Oh, okay, now we can try it again because I got the correct meeps here. That looks so weird. Do any of you understand what you're looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at. That's not it then, is it? 16. We just had that a minute ago. So we just get a bunch of random meeps back in a random order. Can we now just do it again? We can. No, we can't do it again. Maybe with a different combination though. No, because we need at least two each. That's insane. So I got to go back again. Let's try this out here. I don't think it really matters. 17, that's not it. This is pain. Let's try it again, again, again. I'm not getting anywhere. Am I doing it right? Wait, what happens to the monster? Why is it turned into a sign? What happens if I click it? Oh, wait, what? They just got out of commission for a moment. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, so if you're not able to speed it up, 
They're just completely gone for like 17 hours or whatever. Okay. Come on, do it for me. Do it for me. Am I doing it right? I don't know. I can't tell. I think I am. We're just obviously not getting lucky here. It seems like with every attempt as well, I always need to go back and get the memes. Yeah. We never have, like, over the amount. It's always just enough with each attempt, and then we've got to go back. That's kind of annoying. I've like, got to keep going back, get the right amount. Let's try you. And I think we might have enough. Yep, let's do that. 17 again. This is hurting me. It makes me wonder if I'm doing it right, but I think we are. It's just going to take some time. It is a four elemental, and it is, like, an ethereal. So, all that combined... Of course, it makes it really annoying. We can retry the past combination here. We're just going to keep doing that. Yay! That is still 16, 17 hours. It's got to be this time. Let's try it. I've done a good few attempts here. Ooh, one day 17. That's really long. I know I've said this a lot in the past, but is that one of, if not the longest times for a monster in this game? One hour, one day, sorry, 18 hours. That's crazy. That has to be it. Like, what else could it be? Yes, there it is, I, I think. Yes, it definitely is because, well, it's doing this whole, wow, you've never had the egg, now balabing, balaboom it, balabing, balaboom. There we go. It took so long to get that monstrosity. Why? I don't know. Why do you have a mouth on your belly? Again, what is with the FNAF references? Is this FNAF 4 now? What's going on? My Singer Monsters becomes FNAF? I don't know. It's another FNAF thing. I mean, that other guy was definitely FNAF, but man, we got the whole mouth on the belly thing. That's FNAF 4. The nightmares are back. The nightmares have returned. So we got well here. All right. What kind of sound are you going to make with all those mouths? Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> the nightmare is on this island, man. What the heck? Why? The monster handler is big blue bubble. Maybe being away for two months was a good thing. What have I come back to? <laughs> Maybe I should stay away for three months now. Maybe four. Or maybe I shouldn't come back at all. Okay, let's read up on this thing here. Some ethos prefer to whisper while others favor wailing. The quad element well is the latter, so named for the alterations that gargle forth from its many mouths. Although at first blush, these sounds seem melodious. Over time, they can elicitate feelings of dread and disorientation in the listener. That's because the sound waves the whale produces actually begin to tear apart the fabric of space, time, and threaten to expose reality to the rift. The world between worlds. But how can the polytomatous plasma boss help it when you have hands for mouths and mouths for hands? There's little else that you can do but whale. Why are all these monsters on Ethereal Workshop even a thing? Why are they even alive? <laughs> Regardless, they make some good tunes. So let's hear out wave two with the previous wave that was had two months old ago now. So let's listen up here. Let's see if they change it up, make it sound better, add to it. Ooh. Yeah, I remember this already sounding pretty good, so... It's gonna be a lot better, for sure. Ooh, the bit I like is coming up soon as well. Ooh, we got the quad. Hey! Okay, that is nice. Ooh, oh, I love the bit she does over there. Dun, 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 dun. Like swiping the... Uh, air like that oh it's nice kind of like she's plucking us plucking the string strings on a harp or something Ooh, i think that might have been it i don't know it's quite sure let's listen to it out one more time here
Yeah, that might have been it. It's very short so far, but we only have, what do we have here? Seven monsters on this island. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more. Which includes a lot more pain. <laughs> oh, Freddy. Why are you here? I feel like crying every time I look at him. I feel, I'm honestly, no joke. Why do they make such a depressing and sad monster? I actually don't know. But yeah, we're gonna leave it here for now. Again, the main thing was to check out wave two here of Ether Workshop. We did some of the other stuff that we hadn't uh, checked out in the last couple of months. We got the rare mon monculus and all that good stuff. If there's anything else you want me to do because we still didn't get the epic blowfish. Uh, there's some stuff to do with the Festival of Yule, I think, which we didn't really look into. We didn't go over there and check out the seasonal event. And there's a bunch of other jibber jabber that we had. With Wobbling Island, there's rares. There's the new adult Celestial to check out with Atmos. So, yeah, if you want me to do all that and whatever else I'm missing and whatever else you want me to do. Like I said, let's get over 2,000 likes.